National heavyweight wrestling champion from Blackwell, Oklahoma at 17 and a half stone is Jack Frisco. And the beautiful world championship belt. This is not a title match, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, international wrestlers. Like Jack Slade, a bit slow to remove his jacket as Briscoe comes in, ready for action, back into center ring, realizing Big Bad John and over in that corner doesn't want to get in his way, of course. Referees hold, and that's Briscoe pushing Slade into the ropes straight away. A great call by referee Ron Hansen. Three, four, great. Briscoe backing away, and, and as you noticed, also being very wary of Big Bad John, or the John outside the ring, it's the referees hold and the straight in the midsection and Briscoe comes up beautiful knee lift to Black Jack Slade another man in the army of Big Bad John going to the hole and oh arm drag coming up with a hammerlock and Briscoe with the arm of Slade's right up the middle of his back calls for Jack as Jack Briscoe not Black Jack Slade and uh, Slade trying to get out of the hammerlock oh comes in with the elbow right in the midsection off the ropes comes the giant Slade Hook beautifully and bulldogging style as he sends down Blackjack Slade again with a hammerlock and notice also watching that big bad John. He's heard of John, heard what he's been doing all over the world. John who has a reputation of uh, getting around in vultures and Briscoe has heard about the army that John has behind him. Is Briscoe now still working on the hammerlock on Blackjack Slade? Paul Slade going up and Frisco extra pressure to the arm and forces Slade straight back into the turnbuckle of break and get right out of the way, says Frisco to uh, Big Bad John. Jack Frisco uh, recently won the World Heavyweight title from Harley Race in uh, Houston in front of 47,000 people with his very famous figure four leg lock which was taught to him by Eddie Graham and he's displaying some of the exciting action as he comes down heavily across the forearm of uh, soldier Blackjack Slade. Let's go Slade! Slade trying to get to the eyes of Briscoe but Briscoe with a short arm bar just adds that little extra pressure. Slade is up there now and hanging onto the locks of uh, Briscoe and pulls Briscoe, pushes him into the ropes. Briscoe off the ropes and has played many of uh, American football and dig that shoulder straight in, but this time the leg of Blackjack Slade met Briscoe on the rebound and it's a harm coming down around the back of the neck of Jack Briscoe from soldier Blackjack Slade. Oh, Slade, but Briscoe fighting from the ground and coming in on the midsection. Slade reverts to kicking and kicks Briscoe straight into the side of the head. Briscoe locked in the corner and the count was applied. Briscoe tried to get up but couldn't. Again, it's Slade coming back. And Big Bad John hammering on the apron of the ring too to calling on Slade and Slade responding to the commands of the general in Big Bad John. He's dragged up, dragged up Briscoe and look out Briscoe, head slammed into the turnbuckle. One, two. Oh, again, Slade working on uh, Jack Briscoe. Jack Briscoe, the world heavyweight wrestling champion. And oh, midsection back to the side of the head, the southpaw in uh, Briscoe working with a left hook now, and he comes in with a right cross. Whoa, slamming straight into the side of the head of Blackjack Slade. A step over the toe hole, Louis crossing him over. It's a figure four leg lock. It's a figure four leg lock. And Slade has submitted. Slade has submitted. Oh, but he's locked in there, and while he's locked, Oh, big bad John coming in, kicking into the top of the head of uh, Jack Briscoe. Look out, it's Abdullah the Butcher, and Briscoe can't get out. He's low, oh, it's the axe. Axe down on the world champion. Abdullah the Butcher is crushing. Look out, Jack Briscoe. Abdullah coming down with an elbow. In comes Mark Lewin, in comes King Curtis. Oh, protection of Briscoe. Briscoe is locked in there between the legs of uh, Black Jack Slade. Couldn't get out and was victim to big bad John and Abdullah the Butcher. And it was only quick thinking from Mark Lewin and King Curtis that come to the aid of Briscoe and... Hans Schroeder. Evidently, he coached him well before he went into the ring. You know, Lord, it really must be hard for you. It really must be a difficult job for you. For a long, long time, all over the United States and Canada, you have been known 
as the greatest wrestler that Australia has ever produced. Now to come all this way to your native land, to find it, be raped and sacked by Big Bad John, has got to be as hard for me as it is for you and everyone else. Big Bad John, as you yourself have said, has touched every level of society. He has the bulldog. And that isn't enough in addition to the black devil, the butcher. Right now, there is a plane leaving Haneda International Airport in Tokyo bringing Tojo. We only know one Tojo, Hero and the Claw. Hero's bringing his brother. God only knows what his brother is bringing with him. Lord, you and I and everyone else are on the threshold right here in Australia to the biggest battles that are yet to be fought and the greatest chapter in history will go down in our time and it will belong to the People's Army with you as our commander. And you know what? Even more than they've received. Look at the beautiful drop kick to the chin of Abdullah the Butcher. There's another one, but he misses only partially. It hurt both of them, and in comes Brower. Brower is coming in. He's over there. Cox is in the ring. Watch it. He's kicking him away. He comes down with a hammer blow. Watch Cox. He might get it. He's got him up. It's a brain buster on Dick the Bulldog Brower. In the meantime, Abdullah the Butcher came down with the Butcher's Axe. There's another Butcher's Axe on Lewin. All four men in the ring. Cox kept his promise. He gave the brain buster to Bulldog Brower. And Waldo Von Erich has come in. There's a Butcher's Axe to Mark Lewin. Eddie Swan is trying to get Cox and Waldo Von Erich. Look at the atomic drop Spiros Arian put on him, and he puts him over Abdullah the Butcher. Eddie Swan sees him down, gives him the count of three, and the crowd's going wild. The winners of the match, Mark Lewin and King Curtis, but Dick the Bulldog Brower, I have never seen anybody get up after the Brain Buster. Usually they're out for some time and have to be carried out of the ring. He is literally gone berserk. In comes King Curtis. He comes over with a double chop. It doesn't even phase Brower. No wonder he's called a human tank. He gets another chop, another chop, another chop. And he body slams King Curtis and comes right back on top of Killer Carl Cox. Finally run out of gas. Here's the man that absolutely had the strength of ten men in that ring and went berserk. Dick the Bulldog Brower. You bum, you! You sucker me in that ring! When I wasn't watching you, Cox, and you picked me up, and you hurt my neck, Cox, you hurt my neck, I'm going to beat you, I'm going to crush you, you can't hurt me, Cox, you can't hurt me, Cox, you can't hurt me, Cox, you can't hurt me, when I get you in that ring, when I get you in that ring next time, they're going to carry you away on a stretcher, Cox. Because you ain't man enough to pick me up face to face where nobody's in the ring but you and me. You'll be in the ring with me at Festival Hall, Cox. And when you do, you better pack your bags and you better leave Australia because I'm going to cripple you. You heard Mario Milano and the Golden Greek Spirits are in, and 
and it's the mass medic. The medics, of course, could lose their mass and spiritually, and then the Golden Greek could lose their hair. It's been a brawl from the word go, and the excitement is mounting. First one team is on top, and ooh, look at that. He's smacking with a can which had been bent into pieces. The medics have brought it in first, and now it's all four men in the ring. At the same time, it's no disqualification, no time limit, no count outs, anything goes. The rules are thrown out the window. There must be a winner, and it's off with the mess or off with the hair. Look at that drastic by Spirit of Rin. And now look at this. Down he goes. Go, yeah, that's it. Boy. The winners of the match. They keep their hair. gathering around the ring as the medics have to have their mask taken off. It was a three count. The rules were out the window. Those masks must come off. The masks have to come off. They have to take the mask off. cut open with that can that they smacked into his head, but this is sure the real got it. Really stop it, and the crowd are demanding that those masks be taken off, and that is the ruling, and that is the decision, the mask. Off with the mask. Listen to the crowd, they're going wild. The Spiros Array and the Golden Greek and the popular Italian are two of the most popular wrestlers ever to come to Australia. The mass medics, we could fair go all the way. There were no rules. There it goes. A complete unmasking. There it goes. Mario Milano and Spiros Arian are pulling the other mass medic in. Now it's a four-man war again. He got Girls with a knee there, but now the mask is off. You can see. There goes the turnbuckle is off. And they're smacking Mario Milano into the turnbuckle with no padding there. Oh, his head was already cut for that can. This could be. This is really legalized, man. They throw the referee outside the ring. Oh, the blood is pouring down the face of Milano as the two medics are giving him a beating, but in comes the Golden Greek, and one of the mass medics throws him outside the ring. Boy, look at Milano. He has gone wild. The blood streaming down his face, and he is really pouring it on. The referee goes in, tries to take one medic out of the way. Now there's two of them in there. Milano is the meat in the sandwich. Arian is outside the ring. And in comes the Golden Greek. Now, there's a hard right to the jaw and the left. And now an elbow smash into the heart. A drop kick, down he goes. And the mass medics now are running for cover like the rats they are. 